Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I weave in my tails so that they won't come out, hopefully. Um, this is what I use, a tapestry needle or darning needle. And you just put it through there. And this is the back of my work. I always do it in the back of my work. And you want to go through the same color as the yarn that you're weaving in and you just go through make sure that it's not going to be noticeable on the other side let me try to get it in and I'll show you you can see the needle but when I go through I'm going to show you I can get it through there it's hard to do it while I'm on camera. So you can't really tell. Well, when I pull on it, you can, but if someone's looking at it, you're not really going to be able to tell where I've done that. And you want to try to do it three times, is what they say. So there was one, and you want to go in opposite directions, and you want to go just a little ways so that would be two and you don't want to pull real tight you want to make sure that it's got plenty of room to stretch for when you wash it and stuff so that would be two and then you want to go back one more time the other way so this would be three And once you go that third time, you just want to give it a little tug and make sure that it's got plenty of stretch room. And once you do it those three times, you just cut off the excess and there you go and it's disappeared now and no one will ever know that it was there and I'm gonna go ahead and do all of my tails that I have so far and like this one right here that we weaved in all that you need to do to that since we weaved it in is just cut it off because we weaved that in when we were originally putting the color in so just cut that off and you don't have to worry about that so go ahead and do that and when I come back I'll show you what mine looks like and we will start on row 13.